Hello everybody and welcome to an updated talent video from Real Chance Wow, aka Boss Pal, aka Boss Pan, the Paladin, the Rat Paladin of PvP. Today we're going to discuss an updated, kind of more efficient uh, talent guide, gl glyph guide, because I said glyph last time, glyph guide, uh, macros and keybinds will be in part two, but first I'm going to go over talents, glyphs, uh, damage rotation and all that sorts, get that out of the way. So let us begin by putting uh, the face cam in, of course, and by showing us our UI. Okay, so let's go over the talents first. In the last previous video, I went over them slightly, but I'm going to kind of go quick through these. I want to show you the simple ones I'm going to be quick about, but the ones that need explaining or there's good alternatives to, I'm going to go over those a little bit. Long Arm of the Law It's kind of the only level 15 talent that I recommend. It gives your successful judgments an increase in speed by 45% for three seconds. I mean, you cast judgment. What is it? Every five and a half, five point five seconds. So essentially, you're always running faster because you always want to be casting judgment. And uh, there is a glyph later that will line up with this to make it an even better ability. And I'm sure everyone that plays Red Paladin knows this. But for those of you that don't, Long Arm of the Law is the one that you want to use as a Red Paladin. I don't recommend Speed of Light that gives you a boost of 70%, and I don't re recommend Pursuit of Justice. It just doesn't give you quite the, spurred be the speed boost as frequently as Long Arm of the Law. So here we, for the second talent, we have Fist of Justice. You get 30 every 30 seconds, 20 yards done. Excellent ability. It's great. Uh, Repentance is an ability that can be used. It's kind of like a, a sap, so damage kind of releases that person from the stun and you not you're not guaranteed a minute long like it says but uh, you average around six to eight seconds of stunning and that's like good sometimes it's hard to get the cast off it is a one and a half second cast so that can be used doing something else so fist of justice is always good for that blinding light is another good one only problem again is two minute cooldown so you have your hammer of justice with one minute cooldown and your blinding light with two minute cooldown you're just not seeing enough uh... see blinding light used to be in mop it used to be just an ability that we had no problem. So Paladins were given a lot of CC in uh, the previous game, uh, previous expansion. So in this, I recommend Fist of Justice as far as Arena goes. Repentance and Blinding Light are interchangeable. It just depends how you play your game and what play style, what comp you're using. But again, Fist of Justice is the best for dealing out damage and stunning every 30 seconds. Uh, secondly, uh, Selfless Healer, sorry, third. Third talent is going to be Selfless Healer. It Your successful judgments, which again, you're going to be casting a lot. Reduce your cast time and mana of your next flash of light by 35% and increase its effect on others by 20% and it stacks up to three times. So it stacks up. So you get the the stack for three times. Let's let's give this a go. Let's just stack it up three times and just kind of show you guys what selfless healer does. So again, you just keep casting them, keep casting them, and here comes the third stack of selfless healer down here. And now it you cast it 105% faster. It costs 105% less mana, meaning it's free, and it heals for 60% greater the effectiveness on others. But we're just going to cast it on ourselves here. You see it's instant. You really want that selfless healer proc. Eternal Flame, I don't recommend, and Sacred Shield, you can use, but absorbing damage isn't as good as getting an instant heal uh, of your best healing ability, not in the least. So I do recommend selfless healer. Down here we have Hand of Purity, Unbreakable Spirit, and Clemency. <laughs> Clemency is the best in regards of vers versatility. If you want to help your teammates out and be out of movement impairing effects more frequently with Hand of Freedom and Bop, and you have a 30 second forbearance instead of a 60 second in, uh, like it used to be in the past, so now it's 30 seconds at Draenor, and now that means you can cast a Bop every 30 seconds, or obviously you have a 5 minute recharge, so you will have to wait or like four and a half minutes anyways if you're gonna be using both of them. If you use one on a teammate and one on yourself. Uh, we have our sack, hand of sack, and the, our hand of freedom. And those are very valuable to have two charges for, especially if you have a healer in your party that you really want to help out. Sorry, I'm just gonna untarget him. But if you're playing alone and you just don't care about having those two charges of each, Unbreakable Spirit is good as well. You get the ability to half Cooldown on your lay on hands is decreased by 50%, meaning it's 5 minutes long. Divine Shield is decreased by 50%, meaning it's 2.5 minutes long. And the Divine Protection is decreased by 50%, meaning it is 50, uh, sorry, 30 seconds. So every 30 seconds you are getting a reduced magical damage by 40% for 8 seconds, unless you're using the Glyph for Divine Protection, which splits it in half for magical and physical damage, 20 and 20. But 
Again, that's something that it, it just depends on preference, so I'm not really going to go over that anymore. Uh, sec uh, bleh, level 75 talent, Holy Avenger. Holy Avenger is, as a rep paladin, unexplicably the only ability you should be using at level, uh, for your level 75 talent. I have used Sanctified Wrath in the past, and I liked it. You do get wings for longer, but at the same time, you don't get that holy power that you really want. Uh, Hammer of Wrath is a great ability, but in the end, Templar's Verdict just deals more damage, and you having Holy Avenger allows you to deal 30% additional damage and healing on top of generating three charges for every time you, you hit with an ability like Exorcism, Judgment, Crusader Strike, or Hammer of Wrath. And Hammer of Wrath can be active. So Holy Avenger is just the ability you're going to use. I don't really need to explain that. Uh, you guys can skip through this. I'll leave a timestamp uh, for those of you watching, for those of you who want to skip to the level 100 talent, which it's too late for that. So, enjoy this. <laughs> I'll mention that later at the end of the video. Level 90 talent, Execution Sentence. Excellent ability. I recommend it. You can cast it on yourself. It's only a minute long cooldown. It's not really that bad. I liked Holy Prism in the past, but overall, Execution Sentence just does more damage, and it just, uh, it's just, it does more healing to yourself as well. So, you can wait the minute. It's a great ability to have, and it just helps your bursts that much more. Level 100 talent, Again, something that people will argue because all three of these abilities are good. It just depends on how you like to play the game and I guess how good the player is in, in a sense. And Power of Seals is the ability I use if you guys want to look at my macro and keybinding video specifically for this ability and you are just interested, I'll leave an annotation on the screen. You can check that out. Uh, I have macros and keybinds for it, but it's hard to play in Powered Seals, so a lot of people stray away from it. They're like, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to cast all of these judgments on my enemies and maintain them. It's just so hard. But the thing about it is it's so worth it because you get this consistent damage, and you want that in a Paladin because people look at you as wings, and they say, oh, once wings are over, you're not going to be dealing damage anymore. And I say that all the time because that's what people think. So you want that consistent damage. You want that 15% haste increase, and you want that 15% attack power increase. And you're just going to be dealing out damage way more frequently. Uh, the other alternatives are Seraphim, which increases all of your stats by 1,000 for 15 seconds. It's a great ability to burst with, but again, it's kind of one of those things that, well, first of all, it takes a 5 holy power. So that right there straight that keeps you from casting your strongest ability, which is Templar's Verdict for a while. Um, and then at the same time, it, it's it's not worth it. I like using it sometimes if I know that I can take out like a mage or a rogue in one burst, and I'm just going to cast all of it at the one time, and I know I don't have to maintain consistent damage, but it's just really not worth it unless you don't need to maintain consistent damage, and you're just going to wipe out an enemy as fast as you can. Like, they don't have a healer. There's nothing they can do. That's it. Uh, and final verdict, lastly, which is a lot of people are using, it's essentially Templar's Verdict except with 10-yard range. And it also increases the damage and radius of your next Divine Storm by 100%, so it just makes you cast Divine Storm. It kind of gives you more purpose to use Divine Storm, which they do anyways by giving you the proc for Divine Storm, uh, which increases the damage by 50% generally. But if you add the 100% damage and radius from Divine Storm from Final Verdict, it kind of makes it a very powerful ability. It deals them as much damage as uh, Templar's Verdict. So you're getting another damage dealing ability almost, but at the same time it kind of cancels out. So again, if you want to deal with the consistent damage, Empowered Seals is your best bet in all scenarios in my opinion. So let's move on to Glyphs after the <laughs> like 10 minute long talent talk, talent search. Uh, glyphs again are variable. I'm going to go over my major glyphs that I've been using. Glyph of Templar's Verdict, again, you take 10% less damage for 6 seconds after dealing damage with Templar's Verdict or Exorcism, essentially meaning you are always taking 10% less damage, which as a Paladin is vital because you just take damage all the time. And this is where something like... Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, if, before I get into that, let's talk about this one. Glyph of Burden of Guilt. It's something that you should always have on. It's going to reduce the movement speed of your enemy by 50% for 2 seconds, and again, you can cast that every 5 seconds because it is from your judgment, and it's a successful judgment, meaning that there has to be damage done or it has to be absorbed in some way. It can't miss, or whatever the case may be. And that, combined with Long Arm of the Law, like I had said in the beginning, is just too good to pass up on. It's a gap closer. It's your only gap closer, really, as a paladin, so you need to use it. <laughs> and lastly, we have our the Glyph of Word of Glory, not Harsh Words. I apologize, uh, but this is the ability that allows you to get 9% damage increase uh, over 
a certain period of time by when you use Word of Glory, so it, it increases your attack power by nine percent, uh, which kind of means, <laughs> which kind of means that you're going to be dealing that nine percent damage uh, along with the fifteen percent increased attack power and your haste increase. So it's just it is worth it, I think, in my opinion, if you stack up your holy power and then cast it you get that again nine percent and that's what it goes up to so it's just something that I've been using and it improves your damage so that is always good especially again if you want to be con delivering that consistent damage as a paladin which is wh exactly what you want to do so we have that as our third one but again there's others that are interchangeable with it Glyph of Immediate Truth if you are using level 100 talent final verdict Glyph of Immediate Truth is great again for bursting same with Seraphim if you're using Seraphim Glyph of Immediate Truth is great but again if you're using a powered seals you have you're not always in immediate uh, your seal of truth so that sense your kinda means more dealing more damage with that damage over time with the sense your makes it better uh, another one is Glyph of Hand of Freedom, which is great. It reduces the amount of CC that's placed on you. Uh, it says causes loss of control of the character by 25%. And reduces the remaining duration of all effects, which cause loss of control. Yeah. And then any additional loss of control effects applied within four seconds of you casting Hand of Freedom have, again, 25% reduced duration. So it kind of makes you less CC'd. And if your healer's getting bursted on, that's a great thing to have. So that's another ability that's interchangeable. Here's Divine Protection, which gives, splits it up between 20 and 20. Again, useful. I, I'm... I'm kind of going over all this so you guys can see Devil's Advocate. This is just what I've been using: Burden of Guilt, Templar's Verdict, and Word of Glory. But I'm kind of, I kind of want to go over other things just so I'm not being one-sided here. There are other options. There are some things that you can use to help you on your play style. Um, Divine Storm is good if you want to be more survivability and you're using Templar's, ver uh, sorry, Final Verdict. So you're casting that Divine Storm and you get four percent health uh, every time that you cast Divine Storm. It can proc a lot, so you can essentially heal yourself a lot uh, ultimately with the glyphs so these are the glyphs that I use guys sorry I said glyphs a couple times tomato tomato but yeah that's those are the ones I like word of glory Templar's verdict burden of guilt and hand of freedom those are my three those are my four favorites hand of freedom I kind of interchange with word of glory uh, or divine protection and divine storm again is interchangeable so that's just depends on who is playing the class and this is what I think works best in my opinion Ah, so let's go to damage rotation. Obviously, you have Crusader Strike. Crusader Strike is your core. I'm going to go to core abilities here. Crusader Strike is your main... It's one of your main damage dealing abilities, and it grants you one holy power. You want to use it. Judgment is a, a ranged ability that, again, slows down your enemy if you're using the right glyph and makes you faster if you're using the right talent. And, of course, with Empowered Seals, it adds up. So the damage rotation, I'm essentially using it for... I'm going to show you guys the damage rotation for Empowered Seal specifically because that's what I use. Templar's Verdict, when you have three holy power, it is the one ability you should cast. And if you get a proc for uh, Divine Storm, which is another ability that's an AoE, just deals holy damage for enemies within eight yards, it's something that you should use um, because only when you get that uh, proc because it's, it's a free damage dealing ability that in, it, the damage is increased by 50% making it a better ability making it deal like I think 13 it's probably the same as Templar's Verdict so it's essentially another temp Templar's Verdict which is what you want to see Hammer of Wrath you use when your enemy's below 35% health Exorcism you use whenever you can and again it deals a lot of damage and grants you unholy power and your auto attacks have a chance of resetting this long 13 second cooldown uh, we have Seal of Truth which helps addition deals additional damage and you guys will get into that in a second so your your rotation is kind of going to be crusader strike whenever you can judgment whenever you can exorcism whenever you can and templar's verdict and divine storm just whenever you can it's not really a hard class to play guys it's just something that you have to get used to and over time you're going to want to use this rotation and of course your burst which is going to be your avenging wrath holy avenger i'm going to show you the macro in a minute but you kind of want to use that you again because you have Holy Avenger, you're going to cast one ability, which hopefully is Hammer of Wrath, and then Templar's Verdict, because you keep getting that Holy Power. Judgment, Templar's Verdict, because you get that Holy Power. Hammer of Wrath, Templar's Verdict. Exorcism, Templar's Verdict. It, it, and that's you're going to want to use Templar's Verdict because that's your best ability. And again, if you get that proper Divine Storm, which I have, you're going to want to use it. So it's easy class to play. And as far as starting out with Empowered Seals, I recommend laying down the haste first, switching back to Seal of Truth, and then as soon as you have judgment for that, you lay that down and then you have 15% attack power increase and 
a righteousness increase. And you have this little bubble down here. I'm going to show you. This is for righteousness. This is for truth, insight, and justice is right here. So it kind of can tell you without you looking at your cooldown abilities when you should see it went away. So then I'll know that I sh it's time for me to re reload that, ham that seal of righteousness to get the judgment down on my enemy. So that's the rotation, guys. It's pretty simple to play Paladin. If you need to heal, heal. Use Word of Glory or Execution Sentence on yourself if you must. And again, Word of Glory with the Glyph of Word of Glory will help you in do 9% increased damage. So if you want to maximize your burst, I recommend getting that Word of Glory active, getting your Judgments active before your Word of Glory, and then go ahead and burst for maximum damage. So now that the damage rotation is done with, again, pretty simple. If you have, if I was kind of confused, confusing you, ask in the comments below. I'll answer. I do to everybody. Uh, so let's go over the second part, which I will show you guys in another video. Actually, I'm going to upload right after this one. So thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, comment, leave your thoughts on all that I went over in this video. I'm going to go over keep adding the macros specifically in the next. Uh, I'm not going to even stop recording. I'm just going to cut it up. So you guys will probably see them uh, back to back. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. It's been an updated talent video for Rep Paladins. This is what I recommend. This is some interchangeable abilities and glyphs. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next part, which will be up probably shortly after this one. So thank you for watching. Nurse on the